I'm from a town where the young never shut our eyes. Pick your poison, you could ride with those other guys. Life is more than just a dream when your team's strong. We write anthems, this is more than just a theme song. Rap bees on our winter wears. Welcome to b I'm the home of the phenoms. It's only one city that we lean on. We call that. What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network Gaming Commentary here to bring you another edition of our Minecraft game playthrough. Now if some of you have seen my Call of Duty stuff and you think I'm not doing Minecraft or Pokemon, no, no, I'm doing all of them. I just like all the games, so I'm going to be playing through all of them. And plus they're popular games too, so that works as well. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say one more time, thanks so much guys for all the birthday wishes that I received. I got like, I got like dozens upon dozens upon dozens of people telling me happy birthday the other day on May 12th and it really felt good to know that so many of you cared enough to actually like say that you know so I really do appreciate it and it feels good knowing that I have a fan base like that who's really like just like very demonstrative when it comes to showing their expressions of emotion like that so thank you all once more anyways we aren't going to dilly dally anymore and let's execute the game right now and um, we're gonna go back into Etika land and now if I remember correctly we had run away from that village and we found our we found a little resting spot on top of this mountain and it seemed pretty cool to me because I like that it's in the snow. The ground is white so you can see any monster coming along. So now, um, pretty oh wow, there's that creeper. I remember in the comments somebody said that that thing that I saw on the mountain was a creeper. Well, you know what? Time to deal with this problem. Wait, I don't think he can come here. Yeah, he can't come here. Fuck you, creeper. Okay, that would have been ugly if he had blown up the mountain bottom and I would have fallen but no that doesn't happen because physics don't mean anything in Minecraft except for sand and gravel anyways like I said we are going to take our domain here at the top of this crazy looking snow mountain I really like it I think it's cool and it's got this waterfall here so I can quickly travel up and down it until I make a more advanced system so here basically let's see what kind of resources we have so we can pretty much allocate what we need to do to be able to establish ourselves up here so let's take a look at what we got okay Boom. We have nothing. <laughs> oh my God. We seriously have nothing in our damn inventory that can be devoted to helping us out with getting... Okay. Well, whatever. We're going to make this work. You know what? This is the part of Minecraft. This is part of the Minecraft life, you know? Making life work for yourself. So, here we go. Okay. What we're going to do is... Um, we don't even have a bed. Okay. So, we need to make a bed. That's first priority. Make a bed. So we have to find sheep, which means we have to leave them out. <laughs> and I don't want to get lost or get killed and not be able to find my way back. Because since we don't have a bed, we get killed while we're out there looking for a sheep to make a bed. We're done. Anyways, we're going to put these two things here since these are the most important things. And as a matter of fact, let me put all these things. Wait, if I hold shift. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm going to put all these things down. So this way, you know, at least we have all of our stuff here. And plus, it'll make like a cool barrier for us not falling down. Somewhat. Okay. So... In fact, I don't feel comfortable with this ground being here like this. <laughs> this is crazy looking. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to extend this ground just a little bit. So this way, we don't get subject to, you know, falling off the mountain because we got shocked by something. I can see that happening in the future, and I would be so upset if we don't have a bed at that point. Okay, so we got this set up pretty well. Uh, let's put one more, and we're out of dirt. Well, this should be good enough. I shouldn't fall down this. Okay, so now... Let us continue. What we are going to do here is pretty much make a chest and let's stash all of our resources in it. So this way we know where everything is. So we're going to make us some chests here. Oh, just one because I don't really have that many resources to make a lot of them because I want to save my wood. Okay, now I'm going to probably put the chest right here next to this thing. So we need a little bit more dirt. Well, we don't have dirt, so I'll just go and get some from over here. How convenient. Ah, it works out so well for me. And now, remember, the goal is still to beat this damn game. I want to get to the Ender Dragon and read the Ender Poem and see what the hell the big mindfuck about Minecraft is. I'm really excited about that, so um, I'm really looking forward to this. Anyways, in order to do that, we need to at first at least establish a home base for ourselves. So this way we don't have to, you know, be scavengers throughout the whole game while looking for diamonds. So, yeah, that's going to be the general consensus of what we do. Anyways, now let's make us that... Oh, you know, let's put down that chest. Okay. Chest is going to be right 
here. I like to live on the edge, baby. All up on the edge. <laughs> okay, let's actually make one more chest. So this way we have like a lot of them. It'll be convenient at least because this way we don't have to, you know, run back behind ourselves and make another chest if that's ever the case. But I highly doubt it. You know, we have a lot of resources here. Okay, boom. So we got another chest here. And we're going to put it down and boom. Yeah, now we have our base pretty much set up really, really well. In fact, let me move all these things back a little bit because I don't want to... Um, Oh wait, we're about to we're about to die of hunger here. We gotta make some stuff, man. All right, we're gonna put this in the fire and we're gonna make us some coal from these wooden logs because I read somewhere that you can make coal from putting wood inside of a stove. So you know what? That's really convenient. Anyways, now let us break down the um, this stuff. We're gonna break this down and move it back just one layer so I know that's where the wall ends. Okay, and then finally, once we establish this home base, then we can go out there and start looking for lamb's wool. And we have to cook soon too because oh boy we are getting hungry all right so um let me see was there anything that i need to bring up in terms of like comments from you guys no it only made one piece of come on whatever well at least i'll be able to cook all of them now so here now we need to come up with a sense of direction where would we think sheep would be where would sheep be here i have no freaking idea where can we find sheep in the damn snowy biome i don't even know what direction to head into and i'm afraid to leave here because if we leave and we can't find ourselves then we're screwed big time screwed so i'm really nervous about that oh boy coming up with the plan is so difficult we need to find sheep but we need to make sure that we know where we are so you know what we're going to build a big ass oh i'm clearing out this area anyway so you know what that's not really that much of a problem what we're going to do here is um, make a big, big pillar, like a big, big pillar. So this way it sticks out of the ground and we see where it is at all times. So we know, you know, where to go if we ever find ourselves lost out there looking for stuff. So we're going to dig up some of this dirt and we're going to pretty much dig a big cross. Let's do that. Because, you know, the Lord is our savior. What the hell? What was that? I saw a ball. What's this? Snowball. What can I do with this? What do I do? Oh, you throw it. Oh, okay. It's like a damaging item. That's kind of cool. Okay. Let's just pick up this dirt real quick. What we're going to do is make a... We're pretty much going to level this out anyway. So we're just going to use the dirt to make our little cross there. So we know exactly where to go in case we do get lost. Which is most likely going to happen because that's the way this freaking game works anyways. Mm -hmm. The music is so beautiful. It's so, so relaxing. It makes me feel at peace. In a world where there's a hell dimension and monsters everywhere that come out at night with crazy attributes like self-destruction, you know, it makes you wonder what kind of fucked up world this actually is. It looks all nice and peaceful on the outside until you realize that there's a whole nother fucking underworld here. And then the ender dimension, I don't even want to think about what the origin of that is. But, um, okay, the shovel broke already. Jesus. All right, we got to make another one. Whatever, it's fine. As long as we are going to be able to make this pillar to find ourselves. So, let's see how much wood is done. Oh, come on. That's not even that much. Let's just do one more. Oh, I'll take this. And then, finally, when we have enough wood, we can cook with that shit. Part of my language. <laughs> okay. Okay, we need to find a bed. Because the more I wait not having a bed, the more nervous I get. <laughs> okay. Alright, so um, we have no more wood. <laughs> Oh my god, we have no more wood! So we can't even make another shovel to dig out the dirt to make a cross! This is so much of a damn headache! Okay, whatever. Let's take some of this wood. Okay. Stick. Shovel. Boom. Alright, we got another one. Let's do it. Round two. Ready? Fight! Let's get us some of these snowballs, you know? These might be useful later on. Since I don't have a bow and arrow, we could use these to do some stuff. I wonder how much damage they do. Probably not a whole lot, but hey. You know, if it's something that'll protect me from monsters, I'm not arguing with it at one bit. This is why I like living in the snowy biome. There's so many, there's so much stuff up here. And it looks so cool, look at this. It's like snow, Every it's winter wonderland. Where's Santa Claus? Uh, oh God, we almost fell, okay. 
I don't even know if I would want to change the floor. I like how the floor looks with the snow on it. Let's get in these snowballs. These could be useful. Okay. Wait, they only take up 16 blocks of space? Why? I don't get it. Okay, whatever. Now, let us... Oh, I can't even run anymore because I'm so freaking hungry. All right, then we're just going to clear this out a little bit more. Sorry about the wait, guys. You know, I'm definitely going to do some more exciting stuff as soon as we clear this area out so we can make this cross, so we can make sure we find... It broke already? Why are you... What? What? The... Ah! Okay. And I'm guessing the wood is all cooked up by now. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, carrots we don't really need right now. You we don't need. Pressure plate we don't really need you. Let's see. Um, fence we don't need. You don't need you. We don't need you. We don't need you. Mushroom we don't need you. Sugar cane and feather we don't need you. At this point now, all we need is this dirt. So we're going to organize this somewhat. And snowballs too to help defend ourselves. As we can throw them at stuff. Okay, and I think we're good here. All right, we gotta make more tools, which means we gotta get more wood, which means we gotta go out there and find sheep and find wood. Which means that we, oh my God, don't tell me I'm out of wood. Don't tell me I'm out of wood, man. Oh, okay. This means we can still go out there and kill stuff. But we gotta make a, we gotta make a ax. Okay. Um, we don't have enough to make two axes, so that means that, you know, wood is a vital resource, man, and I'm realizing it a lot now. We really have to wait through the night. Damn, man, I was really hoping we could avoid this. Wood is so vital, though. Damn, man. We really had to go out there and get us some wood, but I don't want to just wait up here all night because we waited too long to find sheep, and now we... Oh, God. And I feel really nervous not being able to see what's above this wall. <laughs> Extremely nervous. And plus we're on top of a freaking mountain as well. I'm not liking this situation. One bit. And we don't even have any wood, so we can't even dig up anything here to make this easier. We're pretty much left with nothing, man. All right, what can we do? We, well, we can make some more shovels at least. Let's push this back. I really hope nothing crazy happens here. I really hope nothing crazy happens. Oh my god, please do not let anything crazy happen up here. Oh man, okay. So let's make us another shovel. It'll be all of our resources gone, but we do have that one axe. We have this one axe that we can use in the morning to be able to find us some wood, which will replenish all of our general resources to be able to do stuff. So, you know what? I'm not complaining too much. Let's just clear this out. Hopefully we can clear this out without anything crazy happening to us. Come on. Nothing crazy. Come on. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, please. I can just see a creeper, like, just popping up out of nowhere, running across the... You saw that creeper that was on the mountain, right? What if that happens again? I do not like that. I don't want that. No, 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 not today. Why did our shovel before break so freaking fast? We barely did anything with it. And it broke already. Great. How reliable. This is going to be a headache. Anyways, guys, um, we are going to continue this crazy journey of making this place leveled off later on and in the morning we will probably be able to um go out there find us some wood from trees break that shit down and make us some tools with that and find some sheep to get for our bed as well because waiting till the night time that's the shit i don't like i'll see you guys in the next one take care of yourselves and please have a damn good one